Dennis Jaworski is a dedicated trucker who has become fascinated by the history of trucks. He's built up a collection of over 200 classic vehicles that span almost a century of truck building. As a young boy, 12, 14 years old, my brother and I started collecting old cars. Then in the early 60s, we realized no one was doing anything about the old trucks, so we started a collection of old trucks. Dennis's family has been in the trucking business for over two generations. Well, my mom and dad basically started the business in 1930. My dad would be out doing political stuff, and uh, he would leave the dump truck back home in the gravel bank, and my mother would be loading it by hand. She probably put more loads into that truck than my dad did. I can get in it and remember riding with my dad. And the first time I got into that 36 Ford dump truck, I didn't think the world could get any bigger. Since then, Dennis has spent most of his time restoring trucks and rescuing them from a rusty grave. Some really need a lot of love when we get them. It usually would take about a year to totally restore a truck. You can buy them restored cheaper than doing it yourself. A lot of people tell me you must love old trucks. I say, no, I love my wife and children. I like old trucks. The very first trucks were used only for local deliveries inside the city because they weren't powerful or tough enough for the rough country roads. The first truck was built by the Daimler Company in Germany in 1896. A few years later, the American truck building industry was established. But it wasn't until World War I that the truck really proved its worth. This 1917 Packard is the oldest truck in Dennis Jaworski's collection. It has the original solid rubber tires. Inflatable pneumatic tires, which gave a much more comfortable ride, weren't invented until one year later. Dennis prefers driving his 1953 LTL, which he has restored to its original glory. It's a West Coast truck, a lot more fancy than what we have on the East Coast here. I guess they had a lot higher taste out there than us New Englanders had. But Dennis's favorite is this chain drive Mac FK, built in 1932. At the time, chain drive trucks open cab was going out, but Mac still made these trucks with a die-hard New England contractor that wouldn't give up chain drive and open cab. So that tells you quite a lot about a New England. The average thing to do today is when you're done with something, cut it up, scrap it, junk it. These trucks built America, and when you're driving it down the road, you can say, my goodness, this truck might have built this road. <laughs> <laughs> 